Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we've got a really big box to open. Let's take a look. Okay, so this box has been sent to me by a fellow YouTuber, um, Dainster, Dana Medins. Thank you so much for sending this over. Um, we should be sending you gifts, if anything. You've been an uh, absolute star throughout this whole lockdown and COVID-19 phase. Um, just for anyone that doesn't know, check out Dainster's channel. Um, Dainster's been doing a live from lockdown series over the whole lockdown period. And uh, every, I think it's five nights a week, he's been doing um, live streams with two guests or sometimes even more depending on the, the subject um, I was lucky enough to be one of the guests on there and I'll cut some uh, content in now um, but basically it's a two hour live stream uh, eight o'clock till ten o'clock on a couple of nights a week as I said uh, five nights a week and Dane's has done an absolutely amazing job hosting these um, it's a it's a it's a great thing to add to the community and it's just shown how many people not just in the UK, but outside of the UK. Um, a nice diversity of people as well. Lots of different people on there with different views and different interests. Um, yeah, it's just been really interesting to watch. And a lot of them have been getting me through uh, my day-to-day -day work and things. So I've been working out here, as you probably know from my other videos, um, throughout lockdown. And I have a computer setup and everything else behind me. And basically I've been using them as podcasts. I've been sticking them on as audio in the background sometimes speeding them up to one and a half speed or something like that to listen through them just to get through the content and listen to them because I'm pausing and stopping them obviously when I'm doing calls and other things like that but instead of listening to the radio I've been listening to these throughout the, the whole of lockdown and they've been a massive help they've been really really interesting and everyone that's been on there I don't think there's been a single bad guest um, so hopefully they will be turned into some kind of audio download or something else in the future and Dingster will start a podcast of some sort out of them um, I know he's continuing his uh, streams, uh, he's still looking at how he's going to set those up and what the format's going to be of them, maybe it's once a month of him and once a month with guests and things like that, he's looking at the formats now. Um, so a massive thank you to things to one for having me on as a guest and two just for the, the amount of content you provided throughout this whole service of lockdown and things like that, it's been a, honestly it's been a massive help to myself and a lot of other people. Um, but we've been chatting anyway from before the, all this lockdown things and Dingsa was going to send me a uh, box with a, a console in there but he said there's more in here than originally what he was going to send me so um, consoles need repairing and things like that he said there's three items in here one of them if I can repair it and send it back to him would be great the other two he's uh, provided to me to build some content so um, let's open it up, take a look what's inside and then uh, we'll go from there, cool Okay, I'm gonna try and open this from the top. There's already one piece of packing tape that's come and done while it's been in the post. So I'm just gonna literally slice it open. I think we can probably open it from here. Oh, like that. One piece of tape holding it left. Good old roll mail. Um, but it's arrived in a decent condition, so lots of packing tape. Okay, and console number one. I'm not gonna go through them until I've got them all out. More packing bubbles. Console number two. Console number three. Cool. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so console number one is a Sega Dreamcast. Um, I've got one of these in the house, which a friend of mine uh, gave me, Bryn. Uh, that was one that we've had in work for a long time. I don't know the actual origins of it, but I know Bryn's got a Dreamcast as well. Um, yeah, not in terrible condition. And I think he said this one needs the the lasers adjusting on the on the DVD drive. So um, I can take a look at that. I'm pretty sure it's similar to the GameCube with a pot adjuster. Um, but a quick little bit of research on that and I'll be able to hopefully get that one up and running. Um, ejects nicely. Nice condition, generally. Um, yeah, cool. So that's console number one. 
there'll be a video coming up on that in the next couple of weeks once I've taken a look and hopefully got it up and running. I've ordered a game for the Dreamcast because I don't own any Dreamcast games at all. Um, so I've ordered a uh, Ferrari racing game, I think it is. F550, F450. I can't remember which one it was. Cool, so that's console number one. Looking forward to working on that. Put that over there. Console number two. And I recognise this shape straight away. So, I'm going to cut this one open. Okay, so, console number two is a Sega Mega Drive 2. Again, this one I think things have said there was an issue with the power button. The power button's actually clicking in and out, so whether it's actually the contacts underneath it that needs cleaning out or something else, but I've worked on quite a few of these recently, so I know this console quite well. Um, needs a little bit of a, a clean up on the top and things, a couple of scratches and things on there as well, so maybe we could do a, a, a total mod on this one and spray it and do something totally different with it. But let, we'll take a look at that in the next couple of weeks as well. Um, again, if it's a faulty system, I'm a little bit more excited about working on that than I am the ones that I've done already because they were all working systems. So, um, yeah, cool. That one's pretty interesting too. And the final system is a system that Dings has asked for me to take a look at and hopefully repair and send back to him. Uh, and I, I can see why straight away just by the colours that are coming through this bubble wrap. Um, it's the same as the system I've got. Oh, you probably can't see it. it's just out of picture there um, and it's a Asia Pal Mega Drive 1 so this version of the Mega Drive 1 was amazing the colors on it um, the text on it and everything else the gold and the red um, just absolutely stunning uh, AV intelligent terminal high-grade multi-purpose use whatever that meant at the time um, I think Dainster said this one's having a couple of power issues, so I can have a look at that, see what the, the issues are with that. Um, the biggest fault with Mega Drive 1s is that the power switch doesn't normally click. That one feels actually pretty decent. It's moving back and forth, I can hear it clicking, so that's pretty good. Um, generally in fairly decent condition as well, it'll clean up nicely once we've got it working. Um, I can't, again, another one I can't wait to work on. Um, I love working on the Mega Drive series anyway, um, and I've not worked on the insides of an Asia Pal. I don't uh, don't think they're that much different to the, the UK version. Um, I'm not taking my own personal one apart yet. Um, so yeah, cool. That one's a pretty cool game. System setup. Um, yeah, looking forward to doing another video on that one too. Okay, so um, quite rightly, Dane still has asked if I can get this one working and love it back. I can see that some of these already had a go at it in some way so hopefully there's no damage in there beyond what is a, a standard repair we'll, we'll take a look at that one um, the other two consoles he kindly said to me that if I can get them up and running I can keep them um, but I've already got Mega Drive 2s so I've already I haven't I have got a Dreamcast but I've not tested it or running yet so um, I do have both of those consoles in some format what I'd like to do is see if I can get them up and running if I can get them up and running I'm gonna find another youtuber within our community and gift them onto them and see if we can get this as a bit of a, a community um, initiative to pass things forward. So if I fix it and I get it working, I pass it on to somebody else, they will maybe pass something on of equal value to somebody else and they will pass it on to somebody else. Let's let's try and get a bit of a chain going and hopefully not break that chain at any point. So. Um, those two consoles, hopefully, if I can get them up and running, will be available to the community at some point in the next couple of weeks. So keep posted and hopefully we'll see what we can do in the messages or whatever else and uh, pass those on to the next owner. Cool, so just a final thank you. Dengsta, thank you so much for everything you've done over the last couple of weeks. Um, as I said right at the beginning of the video, the streams have been an absolute amazing thing for the community. I know a lot of people are in lots of different positions. Some people are still working, other people are out of work and for mental health and things like that. Having some kind of community to go to has been an absolute amazing thing to, to have around them. So uh, thank you for that. The second thing is just to say thank you for having me on the stream. I'm, I'm pretty new YouTuber, I haven't got a, a huge subscriber base. I'm not really worried about having a huge subscriber base either. Um, 
my videos vary from obviously working on hardware systems as well to game pickups and things like that so it's a little bit different to a lot of the community as well um, so just thank you again for having me on it's been, it was a great pleasure to be on I've met a lot of people um, through the streams um, and just a final message to everyone if you haven't checked out Dainster I'm going to put his links obviously in down below um, check out his channel subscribe to him go back and watch all these streams the streams are absolutely amazing uh, they're great to listen to in the car if you're driving and the future podcasts and future streams that he's going to do will be of equal quality um, thank you again I'll catch you soon